I said, I don't think a bitch would get that hungry to eat a beaver. <laughs> and trust me, if I eat a beaver, if I have to eat a beaver, I'm not starting with the tail, bitch, okay? <laughs> Apparently not a professional at jumping on stages. <laughs> you know when you look at something and you're like, oh, I can do that. <laughs> kind of like me season two of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. I walked in the door with a dream. Yeah, and no makeup on. I don't know how I forgot that. <laughs> but you couldn't tell me I wasn't gonna win that season. I was gonna win, I was so excited. And then two days later, I was back at my house. <laughs> wondering what the fuck happened. <laughs> Very confused. <laughs> but I knew I had some work to do, you know, on myself. So I started working, I started watching, I started learning, I started growing, and then I got to come back the next year in a box on season three of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert, didn't win that either. <laughs> I like this jump. Yeah. <laughs> Looked at it just new. That's me, bitch. That's me. <laughs> but even after season three, you know, I worked really hard. And people said that, you know, there were girls that said, you know, Shandra doesn't belong here. She belongs on like season five or season seven. Well, I showed up on those two. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that after season three, I had some work to do. So yet again, I went back to the drawing board. I started working. I started touring. I started getting jobs in television. I started getting better with my makeup skills and hair and soap. No, not sewing. But, uh, <laughs> well, you can't have everything, okay? <laughs> but then I got the opportunity to come back as what Beyonce calls a grown woman professional on RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season. <laughs> is that on season three of All Stars, I was not robbed. No, thank you, but no, I wasn't robbed. I was burglarized, bitch! <laughs> Shanja, do you just want to forget it? You just want to let it go and pretend it never happened? I said, no, bitch. Because first of all, I look back at that season and I came in the door not only to come back, you know, to just come back, because I'm Shanja, you know, I always come back. But, uh, but I came back on that season to represent for my fans that, honey, it does not matter where you start on any particular dream or goal that you have. As long as you keep going, you don't give up. You put in the work. You can always come back as a winner, okay? <laughs> and looking back, ooh, I had some fun. I did. They said, now we want you to come down the runway, you know, walk the runway. So I'm not just walking the runway, honey. I'm coming down walking inside a plastic ball, bitch. I was rolling. <laughs> Rolling. And then they said, we would love for you to give us floral couture. I said, uh-uh, how about Beyonce baby bump realness, okay? Man? And then, toward the end, we didn't have any more 
more of, you know, the voluptuous, beautiful, large, gorgeously bodied girls in the competition. I said, I'm going to represent and come out here and get this freaky money, 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 money. Hey. Yes. Yes. Thank you, girl. Yes. Yes. So, and then when we got to the finale, and I have to be honest with y'all, I've been to Drag Race 19 times. I have never made it to a finale before, okay? So, when we found out we were gonna be in the finale, I was so excited because I found out not only were we gonna be doing a music video, but we were gonna be writing, recording, and performing to one of RuPaul's, one of my favorite original songs, Kitty Girl, do you know it? Now, Shangela, we're gonna roll you in on this box. I said, yes, I will, thank you. <laughs> I rolled in on that box, I turned around and I said, step aside, I'm back again. So hype, so lit, adrenaline, I'm sh 